All right, welcome back. Well, the COVID pandemic has driven something of a municipal bond boom as borrowing reached a 10-year high in 2020. Bonds for a new project reached $250 billion last year, driving total muni debt below $4 trillion for the first time since 2013. But do low rates and narrow credit spreads make a risky environment for investors? Joining us now is Chris Johns, Aquila Family Funds Portfolio Manager. Chris, it's nice to talk about something other than game stunk. For once, um, let, let's talk about this. Listen, we got the prospect of potentially higher taxes in many forms coming. Munis should be really attractive, but I know a lot of people are scared of some of the risk because of, you know, tax. Everything is down, right? Tax funds are down. Uh, where are some good investments in the municipal bond market right now? Right. Well, I think the one thing that we've learned in this current environment is that it's kind of reinforced the notion that it's very important to know what you own. Uh, the pandemic has had a, a very wide variety of effects on, from state to state and from municipal bond sector to a municipal bond sector. So credit research is, is really, really important these days uh, to handle that. Um, one of the things I think that's important to know about municipal bonds is that they're a lot different than corporates in the sense that the way they borrow money is really different. They borrow money over a long period of time, say 20 to 20. 20 to 30 years with a level debt service schedule because they have to balance their budget every year. So even though there has been a big supply mm -hmm. of municipal bonds, it's done fairly responsibly, especially when you uh, include the fact that in the last seven years, roughly somewhere between 20 and 50 percent of total issuance has been refinancing of higher interest rate debt, which you could argue is is a responsible behavior by muni issuers. So it's real important to under, understand those things. Many times uh, the issuers need mm. uh, voter approval too. Well, the 10 year is gonna give me less than 1%, negative with, of course, inflation, real rates. Chris, what would be the median tax-free or almost tax-free return on sort of a quote, average muni bond? Well, right now, if you looked at a, uh, say, a 10-year AA-rated muni bond, the yield on a bond like that would be about 85 basis points. So, as you would expect, slightly below the, uh, the, the, the Treasury security. But uh, the, the, the taxable equivalent is still an attractive rate. So, if, you know, if you try and compare it to a taxable bond, uh, the rates on tax exempts are still pretty attractive. In our world, we manage single state municipal bond funds, which makes it even more so uh, because you get the, the advantage of exempt from both federal and state income tax. So although the number may seem small, um, the taxable equivalent is still quite attractive. Chris, do you believe that the muni bond market could actually be the subject of a of a of a movement like what we're seeing in some of these heavily shorted stocks, you know, going after a, you know, municipality, which is not doing well? Yeah, uh, the, um, you know, it, it's a great segue from all this volatility that we see in the stock market here in the last couple of days to talk about an asset class here, municipal bonds, which is relatively sedate. So the short answer to your question is not really. Uh, you know, you have to remember that uh, municipal bonds, you know, are financed in, in, in many different ways. And if you look at, for instance, state general obligation bonds or even local general obligation bonds that are backed by the taxing authority of the issuer uh, and, and, and also backed by, say, residential property taxes, that's a relatively stable uh, revenue yep. stream. So, so we won't we won't see those that okay. kind of volatility anywhere near that kind of volatility in the new market. Chris, yeah, Chris Johns of Aquila Family Funds. Chris, good conversation there. We appreciate it. Something different, a little new and fresh. Chris Johns, thank you very much. Have a great day. Uh, All right, folks, that does it for us here on the exchange. With the markets are down big. By the way, I will see you tonight for a special two-hour Fast Money, 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern time. Obviously, a huge amount to talk about with the trader gang, the options market, and everything in between. 5 to 7, I'll see you tonight. Meantime, Power Lunch, picking up coverage of the market sell-off after this quick break. Dow off 627. See you in three hours. Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Ask your investment advisor about BAM insured Muni bonds. When the market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. 
In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable rating. BAM. Build America Mutual.